that my alarm? Five more minutes, please. Okay, I'm awake, I'm awake. How to tell time in Spanish. Let's get started, students. Let's begin with asking about the time. K order S. What time is it? When you tell time in Spanish, you will begin with one of these expressions. Es la, when expressing the one o'clock hour, or son las, when expressing all other hours. This is because one is singular and all other numbers are plural. For example, es la una, it is one o'clock. Son las cinco, it is five o'clock. So even though son las cinco is plural, in English we still say it is five o'clock. But the literal translation would be, they are five o'clock. So this is that distinction between literal translation and working translation. Let's go further. When you express the time in Spanish, you will decide whether to use plus time or minus time. As you make your decision, you will always consider the minutes first. Let's look at plus time. We use plus time when the minutes are between one and the 30 minute mark. And we use plus time. We add the minutes by using the word E. And when we use plus time, we use the hour shown to express the time. Let's look at some examples. It is 1.05. Es la una y cinco. So how do we arrive at the correct time? We focus on the minutes. How many are there? Five. Is five between one and 30? Yes. So we know we will be using plus time. We know we are going to add the minutes by using the word E. Now, what about the hour? We use the hour shown. So since the hour shown is one, we know we are going to begin with es la. Now we have our completed expression. Es la una y cinco. And remember we use e to add the minutes. It is 720. Focusing on the minutes first, how many are there? 20. Ask yourself, is 20 between one and 30? Yes, so therefore, we are going to use plus time. We know we will be adding the minutes, but first, what is the hour? The hour that's shown, that is seven. We know that seven is a number other than one, so we begin with son las. Son las siete, we add the minutes e, and the minutes are 20, 20. Son las siete, now let's look at minus time. We use minus time when the minutes are after the 30 minute mark. We use minus time when we subtract the minutes from the next hour by using the word menos. And we use the next hour to express the time. Let's look at our examples. It is 2.50. Focusing on the minutes first, how many are there? 50. Is 50 after the 30 minute mark? Yes. So we know we're going to use minus time. When we use minus time, we are getting ready to subtract. We are going to now determine the hour. When minus time, we use the next hour. So therefore, we're going to express with the three o'clock hour. The three o'clock hour is other than one. So therefore, we begin with son las. 
So now we have son las tres. That's the hour. Now we have to subtract. We are going to subtract 50, the minutes that are on the clock, from 60, a completed hour. 60 minus 50 is 10. So now we know how many to subtract. We use the word menos to subtract. Now we have son las tres menos diez. It is 250, but you can also express that by saying it is 10 minutes until 3. Okay? Number 4. It is 1045. What do we focus on first? The minutes. How many are there? 45. Is 45 after the 30 minute mark? Yes. So therefore, we use minus time. Okay? So now we have to focus on which hour to express. We focus on the next hour with minus time. In this case, it is 11 o'clock. So we begin with son las. Son las once. Okay? Now we have to subtract. What are we going to subtract? 45 from 60 equals 15. But notice I did not use the number 15. I used the number cuarto. Cuarto means quarter. 15 minutes represents one quarter of an hour. So we can use that special expression of time called cuarto. On the next slide, you will see several other special intervals and times of day. There's cuarto, media, mediodía, medianoche, de la mañana, de la tarde, de la noche, por la mañana, por la tarde, por la noche. Notice that the last three expressions are not used for certain times of the day, but rather general. And these may also be expressed in the plural form. The last item to express at a certain time of day, you use a la or a las. For example, I eat breakfast at 7 a.m. Yo como desayuno a las 7 de la mañana. So here we use a las 7 instead of son las 7. Now let's look at some more examples. This time I would like you to try to express the time on your own before you see the answers. Number one, it is 11.03 a.m. Remember that a.m. is equivalent to saying in the morning. Son las once y tres de la mañana. I hope you got it right. Number two, it is 7.18. Son las siete y dieciocho. Number three. It is 6.30 p.m. In this case, p.m. is the equivalent of saying in the afternoon. Son las seis y media de la tarde. Number four. It is 4.15. Son las cuatro y cuarto. Now this one is a little tricky because cuatro and cuarto are spelled similarly. So be careful with these.
And number five, it is 9.40 p.m. Son las 10 menos 20 de la noche. I hope you got them all correct. Did I just say 9.40 p.m.? I think that's a wrap. Good night. Buenas noches. Until next time, hasta luego. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell.